In this part of the tutorial for Smart Copilot 2, we're going to look at how uh, what what your IP address is internally, and then what your actual internet IP address is. Uh, you actually you both pilots are going to need both of these. So effectively, you are going to have four IP addresses. Um, so I'm going to start with what is I term your internal IP address. This is the one inside your home um, and how you would go around finding that out. Uh, there's a couple of the, probably the easiest way if you uh, right click on your Windows menu and type uh, hit the run and just type in CMD Charlie Mike Delta hit enter and we'll get the the black command window and in here type IP config oh if I type it correctly and that will show me in here my IP4 v uh, IPv4 address which I'm happy to show you is 192.168.1.65 yours will most likely start the same these these two front well, uh, two front sections will probably start 192.168 but your address at the end will possibly be slightly different write this down make a note of this address because we're going to need it uh, so again we might start a little notepad oh let's actually let me bring that in there's our little notepad and we'll Make a note of our IP address, 192.168.1.65. So that's our our PC's internal network address. So we'll write that down as PC. Now, next, you are going to need your internet IP address. Now, the easiest way to get hold of this is just probably to go to the I uh, the web page what is my IP dot com and again I'm quite happy to show you what this is of mine I have a fixed IP address so it means it mine always stays the same so my IP address there my internet address is 212.105.168.126 so those are my two addresses obviously the, the smart the copilot user I want to connect with they're also going to have two IP addresses and they're going to be slightly different to mine I would have thought but with those two details we can now move on to actually getting into smart copilot and setting up the connection the other thing that was worth remembering probably noting down in this little notepad was the port you were both using so we had five six eight nine seven and that was the port okay so with those details and the other steps that we've performed we are now pretty much ready to jump into X-Plane in the default Cessna in some default scenery. So see you in the next section.